So that's the tree, my next tree. We've got quite a heavy lean and I don't want it to get hung up in the other trees. I've also got quite a strong crosswind which is blowing it even further. So by putting the size wheel cut in at the bottom there, hopefully this should swing round. So as we look at the cut, um, I've done a normal felling cut and then I have elongated the side that I want it to hold on. Um, this allows the hinge fibres to pull out uh, but not actually sever so it holds the wood longer. The other thing I'm going to do with this tree on this side just in here is what the Americans call a Dutchman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in so that this side is a little bit weaker but it also allows the tree to move out to the left as we're looking at it so it allows the tree to move slightly this way as it's going over which adds to the swing so it then swings and around and comes towards us um, i'm going to set the camera up over there um, as usual with all my sites there's lots of brambles so my options for getting the good view are fairly limited but we'll see what we can do I also score on this side of the tree um, where I want the felling cut to go because once you've got everything cut away here it's quite hard to judge so by scoring that I've got a line so I can now judge to get my felling cut reasonably accurate. So the golden rule we're trying to get a tree to swing is if it goes wrong it doesn't matter um, if there'd been a house or a power line etc on the leaning side I would have put a winch cable and pulled it away. So as we look on this side we can see that the hinge has not broken and it's ripped down the tree to hold it for longer and this offsets the lean of the tree. <laughs> 